Yo, what's good? We're back in the most veridictious of days. Today I wanna try some new parts, maybe some tank legs and whatnot. I have played with a tetra base for a little bit, but I mean, this thing is super slow and it consumes a lot of energy, man. I, I don't know if it really fits my style. What is this man weak to? Well, not the CE! Good thing I brought my goddamn CE machine guns! What do I have on my bay units? I think it's a, it's a blade, which I just missed, and a rifle or something? No, it's a handgun! Right, 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 it's, yeah, it's, I was using the handgun because supposedly this reduces mobility and it was nice, so I could then catch him with a blade, but I mean, it's just... I think it's a nice setup, just maybe not for the Tetra phase. I think I would need like a faster, more aggressive AC for something like this. Which is definitely my plan. But, yeah, I mean, like, th this works nicely. But I just, I, I, I need to be faster, man. For answer, just did things to my brain. And now, like, I just, I gotta go fast, man. Also, in regards to the Tetra legs, like, back in 3rd and 2nd gen, these were used to carry heavy weapons, right? But that's not really a thing anymore, is it? Because, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but in 4th and 5th gen, you don't need to stop in order to shoot anything, right? Unless it has to do with, like, the weight of those weapons and the tetra legs are just better suited to carry heavy stuff. But, I mean, then again, so are the tank legs, which... By the way, god damn, these tank legs are freaking huge! Remove the installed booster. So these things have their own boosters, much like the hover legs in older gens, and bro, this is so goddamn big, man. That's what she said! <laughs> Yo, it's one of those big-ass towers that I still don't really know what they do exactly. Actually, I don't think anybody really knows what those towers are, like, they're just this big mystery to everybody yo the boosting animation on the tank legs is actually pretty nice but uh yo there's a cutscene let's go this dude's getting destroyed yo they just ripped this man's arm off and just kicked them in the back bro the disrespect it's a good thing my chemical machine guns are at least effective against these guys and the tank legs give me a lot of health. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, this thing is super slow. Bro, really? Why? What could they want? Tell me these guys are here to help. Yo, what, am I getting recruited? Bro, I would take that. These guys look freaking badass. Yeah, I think they're here to help. These Unix are freaking done! Come down here! Yo, we got Reaper Squad Bros with us. Bro, that's fucking nice. This game actually has like some pretty cool story elements like the Reaper Squad, the, the mysterious towers, the AI is going rogue, like, and even just the characters themselves, Maggie and Batman, like it's... They're cool, like I, I actually I have been enjoying the story. Whew. Bro, this mission was just a no goddamn team deathmatch. Like yeah, this was just Reaper Squad and me versus a bunch of eunuchs. Very nice. What are you doing here? You said something about selection before. Tell us what you're trying to do. Have you given up your blue AC for good, Magnolia Curtis? You can no longer fight. Yet you stay on the battlefield. Does that deserve praise? Yo, I'll take it! Just give me the papers, bro! I'll sign them! I'll sign it right now! Anyway, tank legs were a mistake. I mean, they're cool and all, they have a lot of health, but I just, I prefer more mobility. And also, by the way, speaking of mistakes, back on my last Verdict Day video, I said it would be nice to have different loadouts like AC3 because of the different damage types, but you do, except now it's the, it's the whole, like, schematic system from AC4 
and I completely forgot about it. And whenever you jump into a mission, you can just go into AC data and load uh, something else. You know what, let me just, uh, let's go with this thing. If you actually check that older video now, you're not gonna hear anything about it because I actually just cut it off on the YouTube editor because honestly, it was just misinformation. And also, what the hell is this thing's gun? So you gotta hold it to charge it and then it fires? This mech has a very weird setup and god damn that missile does some damage. Let me try something. Actually, let me go for my reverse joint build. I built this thing specifically to hunt down ACs with a blade. But I have somewhat of an energy problem because I have some high acceleration boosters. And uh, I am very boost dependent with this build. Because if I don't have the speed, it's just, I mean, it's, eh, just doesn't work quite as well. Hit him with this, and, po come on, is that a hit? Yeah, that's a hit. Bro, that, like, I, I really like this build, it's very nice, super fast. Kiyohime, this girl is done, and now back on stuff from the last episode. One of you guys told me to look at the big wall in the double AC fight, which was Dice and Fantan. Now, I am gonna have to get rid of one of these dudes at least. That one still has 34 health, but it's fine. Is this the big wall? It's an open map. Oh, sh wait a minute. I think I get... This is a freaking cradle. Huh. Well, they're a lot thinner than I imagined, but that is very cool. So are all these things like debris from the cradle? Yeah, this is definitely a cradle. Yo, that's freaking cool. Crazy, bro. Very cool stuff. We got a lot of four answer references in this game. It's very cool. Yeah, where is this dude? Boom! Get the hell out of here. Is it that? Yeah. We got some new parts as well. Very nice stuff. Oh, by the way, speaking of parts. First off, if I go into player data and mission information, this is a much better way to select missions. And it gives you your ranking straight up, how many subquests you got and how many you actually completed. And also when it comes to the side quests, you have the scrap collections, which are pretty much hidden parts in this game, which is very cool that they exist. They're kind of hard to find. Oh, well, actually they aren't. <laughs> That's one right there. Just drop in. And boom, scrap collection B, let's go. Also, do I have to actually complete the mission for the scrap to be considered collected? Or as long as you collect it, it always stays collected. I mean, I probably have to complete the mission. Oh, wait, I that's scrap A. Yep, let's go. I'm gonna let those Unix eat all of those missiles because it's just gonna make my job easier afterwards. Hit him with a blade! <laughs> Yo, that's a double kill. And four... That's another one. This is the last one, and there, bro, easy, man. This blade is so nice, God. All right, so we got a pulse machine gun and a pulse gun. We unlock this thing, which looks kind of weird, not gonna lie. And the pulse machine gun, it's the Yamabuki. That kind of looks like something out of Dead Space. By the way, there are some missions that I still haven't completed, but I feel like I should have. So like, what am I missing here? This is actually another problem I have with a sortie map because if I go into a mission, but I for some reason can't do it back out but never completed it, the little like new letters disappear, but there's nothing telling you that you still haven't done that mission. Besides the fact that it doesn't have a rank. All right, it's this one. And I actually remember this mission. These guys are father and son, I believe. And, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of wholesome in a way. If you're the type of person to romanticize two people committing suicide together. Nah, but honestly, these guys are actually kind of tough together. And Tangaroa is not super hard. I can easily take him out with a blade as long as I can actually hit him with it. Come on. But Kraken just does a lot of damage, man. Like, I think I have more of an armor problem than a damage problem in this mission. Where are the damage types though? That guy has something on the back right that does a lot of TE, but most is just CE damage. 
and Tangaroa. I mean, this guy doesn't really matter. He can just die with a blade. All right, so I need some sea resistant things, and apparently I actually have some of them. I have three of these arms. Reverse jointed heavy. Let's just go with this. It actually has less energy consumption. That is sick. Also, the back boosters look like some crazy subwoofers. Also, we got some heat pile drivers how much yo 35k bro i not nah, just i i know what i'm gonna do here man also in the shoulder units we got some some type of optional parts as well and this thing destroys incoming missiles i definitely feel like that could be very useful now let's see how this actually performs because goddamn this was the most customization i ever had to do to beat a goddamn mission, man. First things first, Kraken is gonna eat a pile driver. That did not hit. This man has a lot of health. But yeah, I don't have a lot of ammo on the pile driver though, so I have to guarantee this hit. Which isn't easy. Alright, this is not exactly going according to plan. I mean it's not easy to hit the pile drivers. And even if I do, like that thing doesn't even two-shot him. Alright, that's Tangaroa down, and now I have a howitzer and a C battle rifle for this dude. Come on! Come on! Dude! Oh! Oh my, these fucking dudes, bro! God damn, that was... That was probably the toughest AC fight so far. But they're still dead, goddammit! Dave Fisher, Kraken, age 43. He had a wife and son, both mercenaries as well. And Tangaroa, 22. He was actually his son. Alright, good. I'm gonna murder his wife next. I'm gonna hunt down this old man's family tree. Like, does he have brothers? Are his parents still alive? Maggie, I need a background check! But anyway, honestly, I'm not sure if changing my damage resistances actually made that huge of a difference in that fight. Maybe it did, and that's why I beat the mission, but I, I, I don't really feel like it. But what I do feel like is buying a goddamn workshop. Yo, I can look around this thing? That's nice. There's like ship type of garage is pretty cool but considering the other options I think it's probably my least favorite this like abandoned missile silo or something is very cool and workshop 2 is like an actual warehouse it's got the logo on the door this is actually pretty sick looking as well I don't know, but I still think I prefer the missile silo. Give me this thing, give me the banners. These boxes are pretty cheap, so why not? These lights are pretty nice just to set the mood, and I don't have any more money. All right, cool. So, I am still on my old workshop. Can I... Oh, I can just switch. All right, that's cool. So, you can have all of them, and then switch around whenever you feel like it. I, I do like the workshops. Like... They don't do a lot in the grand scheme of things, but they're pretty cool, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's just more customization, you know, they, they make you feel at home, and at the end of the day, I mean, isn't that what we all want? Bro, this game is actually throwing some pretty tough double fights at us right now, but I'm pretty sure we can manage, come on, or not, or not, shit, 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 yo, 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 yo. chill, chill! One of them is weak against kinetic and the other against chemical, so as long as we equip accordingly, this really shouldn't be that big of a problem. And those missiles are probably gonna take them out. I think they did. Now switch to the KE rifles. Come on, and let's work on this dude. Bro, I'm stuck somewhere. Yo, use the missile too. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. D oh, bro! Bro, I... Th nah, like... Nah, thanks. Thank- like, I literally just finished that, man. Man, fuck you. The emulator was like, nah, you know what? Actually, I don't really feel like letting you complete this mission today. I'm taking a eunuch with me just to complete this faster. I've technically already done it. Let's go with, like, maybe this tank dude, I guess? Fixed position defense type, sure. Also, if you take a UNAC with you, does the mission scale? I don't think it does. I think I'm, I'm doing the same damage. I'm also taking roughly the same damage. I, 
I think you really just make the mission easier on yourself, which is very good to know. Although you do have to pay for its repairs and ammunition, but it's fine. I've also noticed this little option, which as far as I know, and I don't know a lot, but it doesn't apply to my mech, right? It's to the UNAC, unless I can turn my mech into a UNAC, that would be cool, you can do that in Silent Line, but, so like, for example, if I increase right arm attack, for example, does this now apply to every single UNAC that I can hire? Like, how does this work exactly? Not too sure, to be honest, but what I am sure of is that these guys are actually pretty useful. We're gonna destroy these people. <sighs> Yo, the let's go! Take that bitch out, fuck you, I'm on spiral. Come here, Natalie Fisher. Bro, I'm gonna destroy you. The hits are ineffective, though. Wait a minute, what about my KE rifles? Are they effective? Nope, still ineffective. Doesn't, whatever, fuck this. Bro, <laughs> like, I was talking shit, but you actually get to kill the wife, too. Like, yo, that is... Bro, now my work here is done. Her combat style prioritized support for allied units when the same battle claimed her husband and son, her partners in business and in life. She grew fixated on vengeance. Well, her revenge was her undoing. And speaking of family business, AC Hakute 1, I think I had some mission of killing Hakute 2. Two. At least I think I remember something like that. The one who wins has the power. That's all that matters. Yeah, that last line. I think I killed this guy's brother. I remember some guy having a line like, Oh, I'll show you, brother, that winning isn't everything or some stupid shit like that. That's ineffective. Very nice. What about the uh, KE? Also ineffective. Fantastic. Oh, shit. This guy fucks with your lock on. Bro, God, like, I hate these types of ACs, man. Eat a goddamn dick. I guess, I guess he was right about not fighting fair. Goddamn, still gonna die, though. Punk ass bitch. This guy has no armor. Come on. Come on. Hit him with the missiles. Done. Easiest S rank of my life. Criticized as a coward willing to utilize any means in order to win. It didn't seem to bother him at all. Yeah, let me just check the player data mission, time limit and minor damage. Hakute 2! Yep, that is some of the most stupid shit I've ever heard. If this guy was like an arena fighter or something, I, I guess I could understand. But like, that thing doesn't exist in this game. Like, losing means you're going to die. So yeah, good luck with that. I <laughs> hope you... Proved whatever it is you are trying to prove. Unless you are trying to prove that your brother's a bitch, because yeah, you were a better fighter than him. Anyway, you have a new mission here unidentified weapon. Does that mean a boss? Just in case, <laughs> let me take this man with me. That guy literally just became my bodyguard now. So are these guys like the unidentified weapons I gotta destroy? They're not very tough. Yep. And blow that thing up. I feel like that there's gotta be something more to this mission, surely. Ah, uh, all right. That is the unidentified weapon. It's a laser Beyblade, all right. It's got mobility. It's got drones too. This thing might be pretty annoying, but at least it is weak against chemical. That's nice. All right, I ran out of ammo on the machine guns, and now I only have the KE rifles, which are also effective. Well, I mean, not anymore, apparently. Yeah, I think whenever this thing starts spinning, it just gets different resistances, or it maybe it creates like some sort of magnetic field, which like pushes bullets away or something other. But it's dead either way. Bring fucking bitch ass unidentified weapon. You made it. Good work. Yo, she's gonna go back into her mercenary life? Welcome back. Ah, such tenacity. Now your legend can begin again. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you seek that reaper, huh? The one you were defeated by. Oh, they're or talking to Maggie. You want. Anything goes, as long as destruction is wrought. I thought that mercenary would be the one. But you will to fight. 
So is Reaper squad with the foundation or not? The Reaper bros seem to dislike the Unix, although I'm not entirely sure what the deal with the Unix is in the first place. Oh wait a minute, a new development announcement from each of the three forces today confirmed that the cause of the UNAC rampage is a piece of code written into the core UNAC system, meaning the incident was a planned and deliberate act of the foundation. Alright, so I assume the Reaper bros aren't with the foundation. And speaking of UNACs, we also have more options to rent now. Well, that's great! Science is like, yo, UNACs are going berserk everywhere? Yeah, that sucks. By the way, you wanna rent one of these bad boys? No! God, please, no! 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 